Hello everyone and welcome to the Tactical Tavern. I'm your host Tomas Alas and in this video we're breaking down the five best beginner knives that I recommend. Starting off, the Battle Song. I'm just kidding. Let's cut into it. Now, usually people get the Swiss Army knives and the Opinels, however, I strongly advise against that just because they don't have a locking blade. I've seen plenty of times when people have been using the knives for the first time, they're not used to the coordination involved, and the blade folds on their hands, and you have to do some impromptu first aid. By the end of this video, you should have a couple of great knives that you'll be able to pick out for your first time purchase. In no particular order, the first knife that I would recommend is the CJRB Agave. This knife has some seriously beautiful lines and a price point that shocked me, coming in at under 40 bucks. You get a 3.5 inch blade, natural G10 scales, D2 steel, and an awesome flipper action that is really satisfying to play with. The ergonomics on this knife are fantastic for extended use, as well as a fine point for precision cutting. The choil allows you to get really up and close so you can make those precision cuts. I'm also a huge fan of the semi-deep pocket clip with great retention and it comes in and out of the pocket very easily. Next up is the Kershaw Natrix. I absolutely love how this knife looks and it definitely wins in the cool factor. It also has the speed safe opening from Kershaw which is like a spring assist and I've noticed that people when they hold it have no problem opening it. It has a very sleek and thin pocket clip that allows it to ride very discreetly in the pocket. So if you pull this out in a work setting you're not going to scare everyone away when you go to cut your apple. Since the blade shape reminds me of a kitchen Santoku I found that this knife is fantastic for food prep as well. Not to mention the endless variety of color options, blade options, you will certainly find a knife that fits your style. Coming in the lower $30 price point range, this knife makes it perfect for just getting into the everyday carry setup, starting a collection, and having a variety of uses with that single blade shape. Next up, we have the CRKT M16. This series of knives coming from CRKT offers a lot of options. The knife I have here is the M1603KS. This knife is sleek and easy to slide in and out of cargo shorts and even classy enough to wear in dress slacks. Seen here is a frame lock and flipper design with jimping on the flipper tab so you can easily flick it open with wet or cold hands. And it also acts as a blade guard to prevent any fingers from sliding forward. The shape of the blade is excellent for piercing and has an elegant belly that allows for slicing cuts. What makes this knife such a great first time purchase is the carryability. It's not too heavy and it's not too light. You'll definitely know that it's there, which I think is great. Especially if you're just getting into everyday carry, you're gonna be able to know that you have the knife on you when you need it most. What also makes this knife such a great buy is the price point. Coming in at 30 to $40, you get so much versatility and carryability. If you've seen any other Tactical Tavern reviews, you'll know those are two points that I value highly. That's what makes this knife such a great beginner buy. A knife that offers a multitude of colors and a classic design is the Ontario Knives Rat 1. The Rat 1 stands for Randall's Adventure Training, and I couldn't think of a better knife if you're just getting into hiking, camping, and the outdoor lifestyle. This knife will certainly be a great fit for a beginner that wants to increase their preparedness levels. It has no sharp spots and a full flat grind which mimics a chef's knife's capability. What I love most are their orange handled options, which increases the visibility of the knife, so if you set it down, you're gonna easily be able to see it in the woods or in a low light situation. For a knife in the mid $30 range, you can keep multiple of these in a bug out bag or in your car and really increase your preparedness. Lastly, we have the Spyderco Endella. This is one of the newest knives that Spyderco came out with in the Delica and Endura family. It really is the perfect everyday carry size. I have the Endura, which is slightly bigger, but shows you some features that you can get. The tip of this knife curves down slightly, which gives you the ability to run it under things when doing precision cutting. I also love the bio-directional FRN handles that make sure you really have a great grip on this knife. I also love the Japanese VG10 stainless steel because it's less susceptible to rust. This knife offers tip up, tip down, left or right hand carry. You cannot go wrong with the smaller Delica, the middle sized Andela, or the full size Endura. This knife was originally created for rock climbers, so it is incredibly light while still having a very strong lockback design. For $60, this knife is an incredible carry option and is well worth the investment. And as a bonus, we have my favorite multi-tool, the Leatherman Wave. I think this knife is phenomenal for a car knife, a camp knife, or a larger everyday carry option. This knife has a million uses. I've used it to cut down a tree, repair broken sunglasses, and even make lock picks from paper clips. It is a little bit heavy, however, it offers so much in value. I will always have one of these in my backpack and go bag. One of my favorite features of this tool is the files. It offers a coarse file and a fine file, and I've been able to sharpen multiple tools out in the field with that file. 
The possibilities are endless with the Leatherman Wave, and that's why it makes it such a great beginner knife. A pro tip I have is to get a Kydex sheath for it, which increases the carryability and distributes the weight so you'll always have it on you. Thanks for sticking around and hearing my recommendation for the best five beginner pocket knives. Now, we all have to start somewhere, so I'm curious to know, what was your first pocket knife? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you found this video valuable, please leave a like because it supports the channel. And while you're there, make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss Tactical Tavern Tuesdays and Thursdays. With that being said, I'll see you in the next video. And remember, be prepared, be practical, and stay tactical.